This is one of the best features about the LED panel. Uh, it's water resistant, so let's find out whether if it works. Okay, kasih hujan. In the video production and filmmaking world, good lighting are essentials to making your videos look great. It's not every day that a good lighting kit is made and I was very impressed when this Nanquang LED light panel came along. Hi, my name is Baron and in this episode, I'll be showing you the Nanquang CNST288C LED light panel. The 288C has many features that make it stand out from regular video lights. But let's make one thing clear. This is not your average LED light. This baby is amazing. I have the CNST 288C already set up here. The first thing I love is how lightweight it is. Let me remove the diffuser and I'll show you what I mean. The LED panels are attached to this square frame by a Velcro. It sticks on securely. Each LED panel is only 2mm thick and weighs just 140 grams. The next feature that I'm really impressed with is how flexible the LED panels are. You can even roll it up. This means you can tip it on almost any surface, so anyone and anything can be your light stand. It's great for working in narrow spaces. What's coming up will blow your mind. To see the next extreme feature of this Nanguang LED panel, I'll bring you onto our film set where we're shooting our actors in the rain, in a studio, indoors. Hello and welcome to our set. Today, we are shooting with the new Sony RX0. This camera will be launching very soon in Malaysia if it hasn't already launched. Check it out, we have the RX0 over here mounted on a dolly system. This is the RX camera, this is the RX0 and so small, it's mounted on a dolly track system where the camera will move along the track as we shoot our talents here in high frame rate super slow motion. Over here, we have our Wushu Warrior Princess doing her moves. Now, the good thing about this and the most exciting thing about this is we have an indoor rain system. This indoor rain system will, you know, start pouring water onto our talons and it's going to create a really beautiful rain effect indoor and it's going to be in slow motion. Um, the awesome part about today is we have the new Nanquong LED panels and what's fantastic about this LED panel is it's flexible let me show you okay so this looks like a regular LED panel but it's flexible so check this out it's lightweight right it's bendable and I can carry it and store it anywhere I want. I can hang it anywhere I want because it's so easy to move around. It's so lightweight. Okay. Okay, come. Let me show them one more really exciting thing. This is one of the best features about the LED panel. Uh, it's water resistant. So let's find out whether if it works. Okay, kasih hujan. Okay, so we have rain, it's getting heavier. Rain is falling onto the LED panel and it's just bouncing off. Oh, okay, I'm more afraid of rain than the LED panel. The LED panel is water resistant. Okay, let's go closer. Right, so the Nanquang is actually water resistant. It's still working, so this is this is a light that I will be using for many of our shoots in the future because I love it so much. It's lightweight and water resistant. Fantastic piece of kit. Now that you've seen what it can do, I'm going to show you what's in the box and how to set it up. The contents were quite well packed inside a soft case that came with the light panels. 
I've got a set of two flexible waterproof bicolor LED light panels. A set of two velcro frames to hold the light panels. One is a square, the other rectangular shaped. Then there's the AC adapter. The power supply box takes one V-mount battery. The power switch, dimmer and color temperature dials are located here. This battery adapter lets you use Sony MP series of batteries. These are diffuser fabrics to soften your shadows. I get a pair of these rectangular and square shaped. That's a standard power cable, user manual. These are the frames that hold your LED panels together. One is square shaped, the other is rectangular. This clamp holds your power supply box onto a light stand. This velcro plate over here secures your AC adapter to your power supply box. To connect the LED panels to the power supply box are a pair of M12 4-pin cables. This is a standard light stand. These are the items you get inside the package. Two units of CN ST288C LED light panels, a Sony NP series battery adapter, an AC adapter, the power supply unit with dimmer and color temperature knobs, power supply clamp, a pair of LED light cables, two diffusion fabrics, one square, another rectangular, two velcro frames, one square, the other rectangular, a light stand, one rectangular LED light frame, one square LED light frame. This is how you differentiate between the rectangular and square frame. With the rectangular frame, notice the attachment to the light stand is off to the side. With the square frame, that attachment is in the center. I usually use the square frame and it helps to know which is which before opening them up. Look at the silver clamps. As you're opening up the frame, be sure to press the sides of these clamps to unfold the frame. If the joints seem tight, Use a screwdriver to loosen the screws a little to make unfolding them easier. Be aware of this area. These are pinch points and if you get your skin trapped inside, a very painful experience we can all do without. So, keep your distance, press and unfold. Stand by, we are almost done. There you go, the frame is all set up and ready for the next step. I'm going to lay out my square velcro frame. I'm going to turn it around so that the velcro strips are facing me. Now, I will set the LED frame on top of the velcro frame. I'm making sure that I slot the edge of the LED frame into one of the pockets on the velcro frame. Use these strips to hold your velcro frame in place so that it doesn't move about. Continue inserting the rest of the three edges into the remaining pockets. My frame is now ready for the LED panels. The Velcro is quite strong, so just go ahead and align the LED panel and attach it to the Velcro frame. Once this LED panel is secure, I'll take its cable and attach it to a fastener. Repeat the same process to set up the other LED panel. In the next step, we connect the LED panels to the power supply box. To keep things simple, match the black ends of the cables to each other and connect them. Tighten the cable connector by turning both ends. The connectors at the LED side are IP66 water resistant. Ok, let's work on the power supply. This box is also where you attach a V-mount battery if you decide to use one. Alternatively, you can use a Sony NP series of batteries, for example the larger F970. The NP battery adapter can be attached onto the power supply's V-mount plate. Press this catch to release the NP adapter. Next, we connect the silver head M12 cables to the power supply box. Take note of the groove on the silver head M12 cable. Connect and fasten it to the power supply box. If you have electricity available to you, that's the best way to power up your LED panel. You can have it powered up for a long, long time. Connect your AC adapter to it and move on. However, if you decide to be mobile, you can opt to use Sony NP batteries. It's pretty easy to attach two NP batteries onto the adapter. 
The latch to release the NPF batteries can also be used to indicate how much juice you have left in each battery. Very neat and handy. Finally, let's turn on the light panel. On the other side of the power supply box are the dimmer and color temperature adjustment dials. These lights are bicolor as denoted by the C in ST288C. They are a set of cool and warm LEDs. Watch how we reduce the color temperature until the cool LEDs turn off, leaving only the warm ones. If your shadows are getting too harsh, you can soften them up by adding the supply diffusers. They go on more or less the same way as you mounted the velcro frame. You can brighten up your LEDs but reduce the hardness of your shadows by dripping on the diffuser. So, what will it be? Square or rectangle? I usually use a rectangle when shooting my talents in a full shot composition, head to toe, as it provides more even lighting from top to bottom. Here's how they look side by side. The LED frame can be angled to change your light coverage. These mounting locks are actually quite secure. 3, 2, 1, action! You've already seen for yourself, the Nanguang LED light panel is just fantastic. It's already in our list of essential video gear. If you're getting a set of Nanguang CN SD288C, we hope it'll light up your production. Thank you for watching. Support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking our videos. So remember, gear up, go out there and shoot it great.